Hey guys, welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. This is Life in Denver. Today, we're gonna to be covering the top five things you need to know about living in Centennial, Colorado. I'm Monique, this is Joe. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you visited before, welcome back. Don't forget to click subscribe and also don't forget to click on the notification bell. We do update videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. And basically this channel is gonna let you guys in on all the details and all the information to what you need to know about living in the Denver metro area. That's right, that's right. Also guys, we are licensed realtors here in the state of Colorado. So any real estate needs you guys have, anything we can help you with, we would love to help. That number top and up down below. We are the ones who answer the phone calls, text messages, emails, all that good stuff stuff so please reach out any time of day days nights weekends we'd love to hear from you so without further ado let's jump into it top five things you need to know about Centennial Colorado All right guys, so jumping into things here. So I think first most important point as far as Centennial goes is you just need to know where it's located obviously because you gotta consider your commute, everything you're trying to do in this area, all that good stuff. So Centennial, it's kind of an interesting one, a little oddly shaped, but it runs really like the southernmost part of Denver. So you can get to downtown and call it 30 minutes, really not a bad commute if you're trying to get into the city. Denver Tech Center, just above that. So maybe 10, 15 minutes, depending on what part you're coming from. So that's super easy too. And then to the left, you have Littleton and to the right, you have Aurora. So really everything's within reach. You know, I'm actually from Littleton. I drive here all the time. It's 15 minutes at most. So just a great location overall, really, really central. Yeah, and beyond just the location, right? There are two great school districts that actually rank between in the top three for the state. That's right. You, depending on where you live, like Joe said, Centennial's weirdly shaped, right? Yeah. You can either be part of the Littleton School District or the Cherry Creek School District, two of the best districts within the state. And guys, if you don't have kids and that's not a concern for you, think again because it is in terms of resale value. So even if you don't have children All and about that money. you're interested about <laughs> interested <laughs> interested, you know, to eventually resell. People do care about the school districts Absolutely. and those are the top two for particularly for the state. That's right. I don't have kids and I definitely still care about it. I know like like I was saying, I'm from Littleton, but man, Littleton, great school district. That's number three. Cherry Creek's number two. So really it's it's hard to beat this area. It really is. So overall, great, great deal no matter what your situation is. Okay, next thing I think you guys really need to understand about this area is median home price, because that's obviously a big one. Everyone's trying to stay within a certain budget. The median home price for Centennial is $620,000. So again, just keep in mind, that's not only single families, but it's also townhomes, condos. So you have quite the variety out here and definitely plenty of rentals too, if you don't want to own. So just something to consider. But the one thing I will say about homes out here in Centennial is it's going to be some older style homes. It is more of an established area, but that also comes with its pros too, right? Because some of the older homes, they have bigger lot sizes. So that's a big win. Most of the Denver Metro, especially the new build communities, you're not really getting big lot sizes. So big, big perk as far as Centennial goes. And then the other thing to think too is if you do buy an older home, yeah, maybe you have to do a little bit of work around the house, but you're getting things that you can't change as far as you can't change a lot size and you can't change a school district. So two really, really big wins. You can always redo the interior at some point. So just something to really consider as far as coming out here. Yeah, for sure. And the fact that you have an amazing lot size, right? You may be able to do outdoor activities and whatnot, but also the great thing about Centennial is there is a lot to do. And by activities, I mean, if you like shopping, it's great. There's, you know, we are at the streets of South Glen right now. There's many retail shops. There's a Trader Joe's, there's Whole Foods. There's a lot of different options in terms of, you know, getting groceries or going and hitting bath and body works if you want like specific soaps or place. anything like that. Yeah, I'm a soap, I'm a germaphobe. <laughs> of and, so, and so, you know, definitely different options in terms of going to eat, in terms of going to the movies. There's a big movie theater right here as well. A lot of different options in terms of entertainment there. And then, however, if you are on a budget, you can also spend time outside, right? So this um, particular area also connects to the Highland Canal, which is about over 72 miles in total, which ranks all the way from, you know, different counties across the Denver metro area. So it's definitely a great option if, you know, you're on a budget and you want to take the kids out and, you know, go on the trails. You can do biking, you can do um, running, you obviously can do walking. And there's also some parts of the trail that actually allow for horses. That's right. So if you're a horse person, you can also bring your horse right on out. One needs a big horse person. You know, get on those trails, you can burn off all the good food you eat here. So it's a win-win overall, guys. But honestly, place that's super close to our heart. Love Centennial, so just 
really a lot of great attributes to this area. Right, and as much as we love making these videos, we definitely you know, love providing you guys with insights into living into the Denver metro area. Please remember that Joe and I are licensed realtors here in the state of Colorado, so if you have any needs in terms of buying or selling or any type of real estate needs, please feel free to contact us at the information you see on your screen below. We are available 24-7. We answer the emails, the calls, the texts, and you know we look forward to working with you guys. And also, do not forget to click the subscribe or notification bell so that you can stay up to date in terms of our new content. That's right, guys. So thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you on the next one. See you guys.